How are you? My name is Michelle Connor. I'm your VCS for Living Environment. Um, so we are going to be looking at a virtual version of the Beaks of Finch Lab, which again is very tricky considering this is one of those fun material labs. Um, if your students don't have materials or you choose to just do a virtual version of that, um, we're going to go through how you can kind of get that done. So you'll notice in the Teach Hub lesson there's an introduction um, and you'll see kind of like the initial setup. You'll see how we, we chose the small bowls and you have the two different types of seeds. And then you'll also see the materials. Um, these are tool, tool, two tools that we found um, just to give the kids some other ideas because on the Regents they like to ask what are two possible options. Um, these come with um, pictures and kind of a Wikipedia page to kind of give them an idea of what they are. Some kids don't know the difference between like a wire stripper or wire cutter or pliers. Um, so we, we added a little link so they can kind of get a better idea. Um, and then this, uh, this slide is where you'd start writing down just your materials. So you include what these materials are. Um, and then you'd be able to um, draw out the two tools that we're using in our example. So if you're doing the virtual version, you're going to kind of go based off of the material that we have given. And then there's some initial questions, just like in our regular lab. And then we start going through the actual practice trials as well as the regular trials. So for the trials and data for the virtual version, um, there are videos embedded so they kind of see the process of it. Um, so if you click on these links, you'll notice these videos are embedded here. They're all kind of short. They'll show kind of um, the style, how the process is going, and then they'll also do a seed count. Um, so for um, the first scenario, there is a seed count that's done on video so the kids can determine how many um, seeds they picked up and that's gonna be put into their data charts. And then what we did is we created a data table, or a data set, rather. Um, so for trial two, they'd count the seeds, and so on and so forth. So each round, you'll notice that there is a um, competition round, for instance. You'll see that there's in the slides an embedded video. Here we go for this one. And then the rest of the data can be found in this additional resource. So the students would count the seeds and they're able to see the difference between the tool one and tool two, tool two, as well as for the larger seeds, the difference between tool one and tool two. Finally, you have the independent work, which is our analysis question. So these are the ones that correspond with the lab. Um, there is the section about um, the competition versus no competition, traits that made you successful or not successful, um, the specific example chart, um, and of course, the Finch Circle. Um, the only thing that is not here, which can't be done virtually, which again is fine because you are adapting it, is the class data. Um, because if you're doing it virtual, all the kids are going to have the same data. Um, so that's the one big difference. So all the other questions are here, and they're built right into the slides.